All right, man, is uh, Georgia defensive uh, tackle interior lineman uh, Jalen Carter worth the risk uh, drafted in the first round or just a six pick for the Detroit Lions? Um, uh, let's talk about it, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Make subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Now, um, I actually got to sit down and actually break down this film and um and to give an honest assessment of them. And um one thing I can say, man, I was blown away. I was blown away, man. I've never seen something like this in a long time. Um, sorry for the dog squeaky toy. Somebody having fun out there. But I've never seen something like this in my life. Um, he is fast, explosive, big, powerful. Um, only thing I can say is probably developing some more moves. Uh, he liked to swim. He liked to chop. You know what I'm saying? Um, then when the chop don't work, he like to go reverse to the spin. Um, but other than that, I think you put him in the NFL, uh, or obviously the bull rush being that big. So his really thing is the chop, you know, um, greater hands, great powerful fast hands, the chop, the swim, and the bull rush is his three moves. So um, you see when the chop don't work, he'll spin. When it's when it's when the spin don't work. He a bull rush, you know. Um, that's what he like to do. So, uh, but you know, you talking about explosive. When you talking about, he got that that little that burst that can you know uh, close the gap to get to the quarterback. He got it. When you talking about tackling, wrapping up. In the run game, I mean, he whooped Ohio State, bro. He whooped TCU, too. I mean, the whole team whooped on TCU, you know what I'm saying? You know, like they was a cheating husband that showed up to his wife's uh, family reunion. <laughs> but he's definitely worth it, dude. I mean, you know, uh, if you're okay with the speed and issues and there ain't no more character issues, man, even if there are some other character issues, I just think you just might have to take a chance on him. I think uh, – <laughs> I think this prospect great next gen stat is underrating him. If his mind is right, I think he's the best prospect in this draft that I've seen. Take away position, take away all of that. Just put him in a vacuum. It's nothing that I like I seen before more like since Reg, maybe since Reggie White, Jerome Brown, guys like that. But uh this dude is uh this dude is uh this dude is a, is a freak of nature. When well, freaking you need a guy like this in your team, and if Seattle pass up on him, you know, um, and you think about Seattle, I mean, could they go quarterback? I heard they 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 didn't they didn't visit with uh you know uh they didn't visit with uh um with Anthony Richardson, or I'm not sure if they visit with uh you know um Will Levis or something like that, but you know it's you know but. You know, it's either. I mean, Tyree Wilson got a foot injury. I don't see Will Anderson slipping down there. So for them, it, it might have, they might just take Carter. You know what I'm saying? And if I had, if I was a bad man, I think the Lions gonna go Christian Tom, Christian Gonzalez, and Devin Weatherspoon or move down and get the next, get the best corner down there. I think the foot injury for Tyree Wilson kind of it scares me, but for Bob Aaron, it might turn him on. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, No, uh, but uh, but uh, but um, well, yeah, but uh, he is a he's a problem, and Pete Carroll known for taking trouble, guys, too. He known for taking trouble, guys. That's a that's a that's a known fact. I mean, look at you. Well, UFC, he just, you know, that really wasn't about trouble. But, um, but yeah, he known for taking trouble, guys. But this, this dude right here, man, 
If speeding is the only problem, hey, bro, you just got to drive an Uber while you're here. You're going to rob one of your teammates. You know what I'm saying? We're going to revoke your drive and shit. We'll give you some extra money on the side, bro, for you to take an Uber. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. When you see him play on the field, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that if he go down being the best player in this draft, you know, the only way he can be a bus is if he a bus. If that make any sense. If, if he if he let himself down with his weight, he get lazy. He make bad decisions. If one for those bad decisions, he'd be going number three to Arizona, no doubt in my mind. This is the type of player you want to build your defense around. Disruptor, a run stopper, a guy who destroys double teams. In the league, he just gonna get better. In the league, he he just gonna get better. That's a fact. In the league, he just gonna keep getting better. He just gonna keep getting better. His 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 ceiling is, you know, if he keep his weight, the only thing I'm concerned is off the field a little bit, the speed and stuff, you know. That you can you can die like that, bro. Just stop doing it. And you know, I know it's fun, you know, fun driving them Hellcats. Kirby Smart in Georgia allegedly bought y'all, but you know, or an NIL bought you. But you know, or his weight get out of control. And the way he built, I really don't, I really don't, I don't really, I don't like maybe because of the accident and somebody died, he was depressed. But he ain't he ain't he ain't no sloppy built dude. Look how this dude built. He's solid. He saw he a solid 315, three, whatever he was at the, the pro day 323. He's solid. He's solid. He is solid. He's solid. 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 Solid dog. Solid. He built, he ain't sloppy, sloppy built. He a naturally solid dude. He put that weight on beautifully. He wore that weight beautifully. And he got everything you want in your repertoire. You want somebody that be a disruptor, a pass rusher, he can do that. A lot of the times he don't get the sack. That's the truth. A lot of times he don't get the sack, but um, but you know he opened it up for somebody else to get the sack. The sacks are not always an indicator of um, the sack is not always in the, a true indicator of you know what he's doing. He's a he's a disruptor. He get a lot of pressures, a lot of tackles for loss. You know what I'm saying? He's starting the run game exactly what the Lions need, man. Every team want a kid like this, so. Let me know what you girls and guys think. I think he 100% worth, worth the risk. Um, hope they can provide some mentorship and some maturity, you know, getting into the NFL. When you get somebody that much money, uh, usually that don't happen, though. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole not, well, just Spotify and Anchor, excuse me. If y'all rate and support the podcast, I can do more of them and get the um, podcast put up on more uh, platforms. But I appreciate y'all. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.